not free. You'll find Palestinians born in America. Ask any of them quickly, what are you without thinking and I, they will tell you, Palestine is not free and I'm fighting to make it free even in America. Go to Africans who've been in America longer than all of them. Go to Africans who came here under conditions none of them came here under. All of them volunteered to came here, went to get visas to get here. Look at the Africans who didn't ask to come here, who were brought here against their will, who should hate America and should be the last to claim they're Americans. Ask them, what are you? I'm American and proud of it. And if you say something against it, I'll kill you. They say the job of the enemy is to make you identify totally with the enemy. Even if we call ourselves Americans, they don't treat us like Americans. They don't treat us like Americans. We have built this country and they shoot us down in the street like dogs and somebody's still holding on to them, but we Americans. There's nothing in America for us except exploitation. But again, it's just wild to see the way they are taking this moment to feed their interests. So be careful of sharing your struggle. Message. What is an American? Better yet, who could be an American? Is Colin Kaepernick not American? He was protesting against a social injustice in a country which he resides in. Is freedom of speech not afforded to those against oppression? Isn't that how this country was founded? It was a group of enslavers and genocidaires. A genocidaire is someone who commits genocide. Yeah, bro. I don't know if it's in a dictionary yet, but I know it's like become popular. Lately, I've been hearing it in spaces. I like it. I like it. It was a group of enslavers and genocidaires protesting against the British Empire who also housed enslavers and genocidaires. Which hit a fever pitch that ended the American Revolutionary War. Because America. America and money. To be American, do you have to fight for land and country? Was Isaac Wooded American? He was an army sergeant in World War II that was returning home from the war with accolades like a battle star for bravery under fire. On the Greyhound bus to North Carolina, while still in uniform, Isaac asked to use the bathroom when the bus made a stop. The bus driver and Isaac got into a small argument about it. And then the bus driver ultimately let him go use the restroom. Once Isaac got back on the bus, the driver made an impromptu stop in South Carolina, where a police chief forcibly removed Isaac off the bus. He was then confronted by several officers demanding to see his discharge papers. The police chief, along with the officers, then took Isaac to a nearby alleyway and unmercifully beat him until he was made permanently blind. Warning to the viewer, I'm going to show you a photo of Isaac after the beating. <laughs> 